capsule. Okay, you guys got that. And the internal capsule has three different parts to it. You will have a part that's the anterior part, the posterior part, and then of course you have the genu. So it looks like this. It looks like a boomerang. Right? You guys could agree on that. It kind of looks like a boomerang if you think about it. Right? So if it looks like a boomerang, here we're talking about this side like this. I'm going to help you out here. Think about this. We said that the brain, the front part was the motor. The back part was the sensory. Here it goes opposite. So this is referred to the anterior part of the internal capsule. This is referred to as the posterior side of the internal capsule. And this here in the middle is the genu. So the posterior side is the home of the motor fibers. The genu is also the home of the motor fibers. That's where they pack themselves up in order to pass through this area. They're very well packed in tightly in order to go through the internal capsule. But the genu houses the fibers of the cortical bulbar tract. The posterior internal capsule houses the fibers of the cortical spinal tract. The anterior here has the sensory tracts, the sensory. Yes. Okay. Yes. There you go. <laughs> nice. So yeah, we're adding these layers. We're adding these layers. We're adding these layers. Definitely. So here we're looking at this and we're saying that here, this posterior area is the motor. So the motor has these two areas. So let me give it some color. Let me just give it a little bit of color here. Hopefully you guys are seeing here. This is motor and then anterior. We're going to give it this color here for sensory. Okay. So I want you guys to understand this. Um, you're going to see that there's different types of strokes as well. So far we've mentioned, we just got to mention certain, certain strokes. We, we mentioned ICA, we mentioned PICA. And everybody knows ICA, PICA, ASA, right? We gave a quick shout out. We mentioned a little bit the medial uh, cerebral artery and ASA as well. Oh yeah. ASA as well. We shouted them out, but let me just tell you guys something very important. The PCA, MCA and ACA, these arteries are huge. They're very huge arteries and they have small branches and these small branches can give irrigation to internal structures. Okay, the MCA, we know this one so much. It's so famous, so popular, super high yield. is the lenticular striae. Right? Everyone knows the lenticular striae. And when you have an a issue with the lenticular striae, usually you have damage of the glutamine or the internal capsule. And this is what we're seeing here. This will basically be the internal capsule. What part of the internal capsule? We're referring to the uh, posterior side, which is the motor side. So think about that. An MCA lenticular striae can cause damage to the putamen, which will have basal ganglia damage, aka extrapyramidal symptoms. <laughs> Don't know if you guys remember extrapyramidal symptoms.